In this video, we'll continue to learn about multiplying with the distributive property. When we use the distributive property, we're going to decompose 23 into 20 plus 3, and then multiply each by 2, and then add up the two products. So for example, we'll multiply 2 times 20, and then multiply 2 times 3, and add them together. We'll have 2 times 20 plus 2 times 3. 2 times 20 gives us 40, and 2 times 3 is 6. When we add them together, we get a total of 46. We'll use the distributive property to find the product of 3 times 316. First, we'll multiply 3 times 300. Then we'll add that to 3 times 10. And finally, we'll add that to 3 times 6. 3 times 300 is 900. 3 times 10 is 30 and 3 times 6 is 18. When we add these together, we get 948. So our product, 3 times 316, is 948. We'll use the distributive property again to multiply 25 times 61. First, we'll multiply 25 times 60, and then we'll add that to 25 times 1. 25 times 60 is 1,500, and 25 times 1 is 25. When we add them together, we get 1,525. So the product of 25 times 61 is 1,525. And this is the end of our video on using the distributive property in multiplication.